Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade Hawaiian rolls that look like this here. Now they make about 16 to 20 of them with this recipe. I like to keep them all together and then cut them lengthwise and make sliders out of these. You know those Hawaiian king rolls that you can buy in your store? You can make your own at home, very simple. I'm gonna be using a stand mixer, but I'm gonna tell you what, you can make these just using a mixing bowl and a wooden spoon. You ready to make your own Hawaiian rolls? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, here's all the ingredients that we're gonna to need to make our Hawaiian rolls. We have all-purpose flour, white granulated sugar, milk, pineapple juice, active dry yeast, salt, two eggs that are brought to room temperature, melted butter. First thing we're gonna do is bloom our yeast and what that will do is help rise our rolls. In a mixing bowl or our stand mixer, I'm going to add a quarter cup of warm milk. Now you want to make sure that your milk is around 105 to 115 degrees. There we go. Perfect. To that, we're going to add two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. Now what I like to do is sprinkle this on top of the milk. To that, I like to add one teaspoon of just white granulated sugar because yeast loves sugar and it will really help it bloom. I'm just going to take a fork, mix this together. We're going to let this sit for five minutes and it should be really nice and bloomed on the top and then I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, our yeast has bloomed. It's very foamy. So we're gonna go ahead now and add the rest of our ingredients. So I'm gonna be adding two eggs that are brought to room temperature, one cup of pineapple juice, one third cup of melted butter, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of white granulated sugar. I'm going to add on my dough hook and then get this all mixing. Now, if you don't want to use a stand mixer, if you don't have one, you can put all of this into a large mixing bowl and you can mix it all together with a wooden spoon. We're going to start incorporating four cups of flour. Now, I have all-purpose flour here and I'm just going to put my scoop in and take the back edge of a knife, scrape it off. That way we're not packing the flour or putting too much flour in. I'm going to do one cup at a time and then start mixing it. All right, now that we have it all mixed together, we're going to put in an additional half a cup, but we're just going to sprinkle it a little at a time and then continue mixing this until we get that dough to kind of pull itself together. All right, now that we have it all gathered in the center of our dough hook here, that means that we got a good dough here. Yep, nice and bouncy might be a little sticky and that's totally fine. What we're gonna do is knead this dough and it'll take about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna put this on speed number four and let this go for 10 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer and then I'll be back. Now I did add about a quarter cup of extra flour to my dough as it was kneading. That's nice, it's not sticking back to my hands here. So I'm just gonna take my dough scraper get off all the dough. I'm going to place it onto my work surface here that I've just lightly floured. All right, I'm just going to flour my hands a little bit, work with the dough, release any of that extra stickiness. And then what you can do is just palm it, pull it back up over itself. I'm just going to do this for one minute. I love the feel of this dough. It's just perfect. That looks really good. I just want to make a ball with it. Just kind of tuck it under a few times. I'm going to bring a 
large bowl over. I'm just going to put in about a tablespoon of oil. I'm going to take a paper towel or you can use your fingers and I'm going to put that oil all over the bowl all the way up to the top. We're going to take our dough ball here. We're going to put it right in and I'm going to move it around till it's all nice and coated. You can either cover this with a tea towel, kitchen towel, or what I like to do is cover it with plastic wrap and seal it. Now what you want to do is just put this in a warm place. You can put this on a back countertop or what I like to do is place this in my microwave. Now I'm not turning the microwave on or anything like that. I'm just placing it in there, closing the door for an hour and a half. I'll be back. We're going to take a 9 by 13 baking dish and I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to set this aside. There's my dough. It's been rising for an hour and a half. Take off the plastic. Oh, look at that. I think it more than doubled. I'm going to take my dough and what you want to do is just kind of punch it and get all that air out. I'm going to put it onto my work surface. I'm just smoothing it out to about half of an inch. We want about 20 pieces here. I'm going to take the two smaller ones on the ends and just put those together. And I'm just going to roll them into a ball. And then I'm going to place this into my 9 by 13 baking dish that I lightly sprayed. Now when you roll them out, you want to put them side by side. I'm going to cover these again with some plastic wrap. And I'm going to let them rise one more time for about one hour. Oh, look at these. Okay. That is one hour rise time. They smell so delicious. We're gonna take some milk and a pastry brush and just brush the tops with the milk. We give them a nice golden color. We're gonna pop these in the oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 16 to 20 minutes until the tops are nice and golden brown. Okay, I've taken my rolls out of the oven. I've just got some butter here and I'm just going to spread a little on the tops. Let this melt in while they're cooling down. And then I'm gonna show you what they look like on the inside. They smell delicious. Yes, they do. All right, look at that. Oh, gee. Some butter, some mm -hmm. jelly, heck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take 16 of these. I'm going to be making another video for you guys. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to make these into sliders. What type of sliders? Well, stay tuned in the next video or so, and you're going to see that happen. You know those Hawaiian King Rolls that you get in the store? Make your own. Yeah. We saw how easy that was. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And everyone, if you want to know when my videos are posted, make sure you hit that bell notification and make sure it's on. That way you will be notified when shows are posted. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Pinterest, my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. That's where you can go and find my cookbooks. Also, I will see you on my next episode, which is what am I going to do with these sliders?